Hi, it's Marcy again with another little video segment on food safety. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to start first with heat sanitization. In a heat sanitization, the only thing that is destroying all the germs on the dishes that would be anything from bacteria to viruses such as hepatitis A that a diner may have carried with them or even cold or flu viruses. Just basically anything we're trying to get it safe and sanitary for the next diner. And not only that, of course, all the equipment we're using in the preparation of our foods. In a mechanical, that is an automated dishwashing system, we have different types of machines. There are machines where they're stationary rack uh, type. Where, in other words, what that means is when the dirty dishes come in, you're going to scrape off all the uh, leftover food. You're going to use a sprayer to get spray down and get rid of as much food as you can. Then we're going to rack it and then we're going to uh, open the machine, slide the rack in, close it, turn it on. And the rack does not move. It's a single rack, stationary machine. And there are those that are operated like this and they're single temperature type. In other words, the temperature of the water does not change. It's the same temperature throughout the whole cycle. If it's a heat automated machine type, then the Final rinse temperature for the sanitization process is required to be a minimum of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. However, if we have a dual temperature heat sanitization machine or a conveyor type, in a dual temperature uh, heat sanitization machine, just like it says, we have two different temperatures. The washing and the rinsing is done at one lower temperature, but then for the final heat sanitization, the temperature is much higher. And in a conveyor type, the rack is actually going through the machine and then finally and exiting out of the machine. So it's moving through the machine. That's a conveyor belt type. And that also, the temperature is fluctuating. So in those situations, those types of machines, the final sanitization temperature is required to be 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So to recap, stationary, single temperature, heat sanitizing, automated machine, 100. 65 degrees. Dual or conveyor type machines, the final temperature for the sanitization, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. AAA Food Handler Training School offers programs for basic food handlers, certified professional food safety managers, convenience store food safety managers, grocery store food safety managers, as well as certified food safety HACCP managers, which prepare you to take and pass ANSI-approved exams from the National Registry of Food Safety Professionals, ServeSafe, and Prometric. By working with over 2,500 testing centers throughout the United States, we can easily schedule your exam at a date and time that is convenient to you. Also, please visit our website, www.aaafoodhandler.com for interesting newsletters, articles, and products regarding the food service industry. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button to help us promote this knowledge. To find all of our YouTube videos, search for AAA Food Handler Training School and then click the result that has the light blue logo for AAA Food Handler Training School. When the next screen comes up, click Videos, and then you'll see all of the videos we have available. Thank you.